Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video on Once Human, I'm going to be explaining to you how to get your deviants to work and what the different ones do and how to make it more efficient for you. So you can see right over here, I've got a handful of different deviants. They all have different abilities and different ways of making them better. So now one of the most popular ones you're probably going to see is going to be this one right over here, the Digby. The reason for this is because when it activated, it goes out mining and it will continue to get you all kinds of resources. So you can see this one's got me some sulfur here. I take that. He's also got some iron. He's got some copper. He's got some tin. So he got me a little bit of everything. This has been in less than an hour of me just running around and him just being here. So the one thing you want to watch out for with any of these. So on the left side of the screen, you're going to see deviant power. You're going to see mood. And then you're going to see securement environment. Now, these things all meet, have different, uh, what they do is different. So mood here, you can see it affects the gathering speed, or if it's a combat or crafting one, the crafting speed or combat performance. And then the power is what's going to allow it to trigger. So I actually have mine set to trigger at 50 because that means that once it starts going out it's going to be out and gathering for longer periods of time so it just means it'll sit dormant for a little bit longer so it can go out for longer but it's up to you how you want to set that one but what's really going to make a difference is these bottom three things so it says faster recovery of deviant power and mood when it's in an optimized environment so you can see digbies here they like being in red light they like having music volume, so being by a radio, and they like having electricity. So now you'll see if you hover over it, this one says power and mood recovery increases by 5%, increases by 5%, and electricity by 20%. So if you have all three of these, that's 30% increase in mood and power uh, recovery. So that means that it, the bar will go back up 30% faster. You can end up getting quite a lot more. But you're going to want every single one of these guys is going to have different uh, optimization things here that they like. So this is just for the Digby, which is going to be one of the more popular ones you're going to see just because it will get you all kinds of ores. Even if you're in an area where you can't find things like iron, sometimes they will somehow come back with iron or silver that's because these guys are just cool like that um, we've got other ones like another one you'll probably see pretty early on is going to be this logging beaver right here so you'll see he goes out and he logs trees gets you some wood i just collected from him that's why he doesn't have any you can see here he likes music so i have him close to my radio he likes being near crops, which is why I have him right next to my potato plants. He likes electricity. I have not hooked him up to that yet. But you'll see this one, rather than the other one where it was 5, 5, and 20%, this one is straight 10%, 10%, and 10%. So they even have different, you know, some of them are not quite as uh, prominent as other ones in the things that they like. But same thing with the mood affecting the gathering speed, power, you know being when it goes out and then these things increase them faster now some of these that you're going to want specifically digby i always see people like how do i get digby honestly you go out and you mine stuff and occasionally when you're mining it'll just be like bam you got another digby boy so you can see i already have three of these out and i think i may have given one to a friend so i might have actually had four of these in total I've already gotten two or three of the logging beavers, which I believe is the same thing, but just from trees. Some of these you can just find out and about. Some of these are bosses. Now, a lot of the combat ones you're going to find from bosses. The butterfly here, which is going to be your basic combat one you get from the first boss. Then there's festering gel you'll get from another boss. Um, you can also get a few other ones that do assorted things. Like I've got this little fire frog here called Flame Essence, who increases the production of the furnace and the electric furnace. So you'll notice with him, let's see, if I can get him to do it. Come over here, uh, if I wanna craft, say, 34 steel. 
he's going to go sit right on top of it and it's now going to produce even faster because I've got this guy sitting on it. So you can see some of these are just going to be little cool things to find and where you're going to find a lot of them is out in the map you're going to find a little event things you might have to kill a boss you might have to survive like four waves of fighting enemies that's where you're going to find some of these more complicated or complex ones this one's actually a level two guy right here but so one thing you're going to want to pay attention with all of these is definitely their likes and um, what's going to get them to do it faster and then you've got some of them that are combat ones so obviously you start off with the butterfly which will go and attack but you can get other ones like this is the xeno purifier i haven't actually tried to use this one yet but you can see here his ability uh, designate a target to attack it will attack in the direction you're facing and here auto attack yep he'll just go around and he will fight for you just like the butterfly will Except this one is a samurai, so he's pretty cool. I might actually switch him on and try him out. Yep, so there we go. I've got a little samurai that'll go around with me and fight stuff. So that's another one you can get. There's some pretty cool deviants. Now, if you're going to want to activate a combat one, you're going to hold E. You can either set it to auto or you can set it to designate the target so there's your two and then once it's out if you just hold E again and put the bottom one it'll put it back in your backpack where it'll recharge so that's for the combat ones and then you've got a few special ones so there's basically three types of these that I see there's I guess there's probably four you've got your ones that are involved in crafting that'll give you items you've got your ones that will go out and gather resources for you you've got your ones that'll help around the base and you've got um I'm trying to think of which one i missed the combat ones so here's another one that's kind of a early one that you get but this is the gingerbread house this is you can see here it says crafting so what this will do is it'll actually give you these right here you can collect you can use them to make transformation cookies. They'll just give you, like these ones will turn you into a random object, which is kind of funny. Some of them are actually really helpful, some are not as much. But you can see they have different levels and they have, <coughs> can have different traits and things that you can get. So sometimes having multiple will be good because then you can get better ones. But that's just a quick rundown on these. In order to make them, um, you're going to want to go over here to facilities. It's going to be under function facilities. And right here, isolated securement unit is what you're going to build to put them in. And then you want to make sure when you go to your memetics here, when you're getting them, you want to unlock. Let's see, I went to the wrong one, it appears. It was this one right here. In Logistics, Securement uh, Unit Expansion 1. This will allow you to have up to 10 of them because the default is like 4 or 5 or something, pretty low. So this will allow you to get quite a few more. And that's something you definitely want to do because, you know, when you have a bunch like this and you're trying to get a bunch of resources from your Digby's and things, that's what you're going to really want. Uh, so if you have any questions on deviants, if you have any questions on how to get specific ones, I can try and do videos on those for you. But this is just a general rundown of, you know, what's going to make them function better, the different types. Any questions, just let me know in the comments. And let me know if you have any other topics you want me to make a video on. I'm going to be starting to hopefully get out a bunch of videos on this game. I like to make lots of tutorials, help people be able to learn these things. So if you're new to my channel, stay tuned for a lot more content coming and let me know anything specific you want to see because I definitely do read the comments and I'm happy to make videos that will help you guys out. So I will see you guys next time.